It's the pathway to the Rip Curl WSL final September 8th through the 16th at Lower Trestles. Got to be in the final five to surf it, though. These guys want to be in there. John John Florence, Connor O'Leary, and Jordy Smith in this opening round, heat number seven. Winner goes into the round of 16, second and third into the elimination round. On Jordy here on the right, seemed like the best way with the heat of 5.33. Goes for the rotation and sticks the solid landing right there. So a great start for the Safa. And it seems like Connor O'Leary was also up and riding. Seems like this came in as a two point ride. The one carve there for the tall Australian. He's gonna kick out after that. And then. Florence, that's his start right there. And so uh, Jordy Smith with the only relevant number so far with that 5.33 opener for the South African. Got a couple of past champions in this heat. Connor O'Leary oh. flaring there. We have John John Florence. He won here in 2012, 2016 in yep. Rio. And then we have Jordy Smith. He's a past champion. He won in 2013. The last few years specifically. Great first turn right there from Connor. Goes up for the second one. And the throw to reverse down the line. Just incomplete with the backwash. And when I got a good one, it felt really nice. You got it. And what about the previous days? Have you been training a lot or you could enjoy some moments off too? Um, yeah, been surfing a fair bit actually. It's been really fun. So... Smith on the move here. Smith with priority. And he's off. Fades into this left. A little sticky there on the first turn. The big South African powers, but has to throw that away. You can already see the impact of the tide coming up now. Try to go for that big blow tail reverse at the end and just that backwash just ticked him off a little bit. You know, the beautiful walls of J-Bay. We got you know, Brazil where he's won before, so I don't, I wouldn't put it past him to be there. Jordy Smith, Smith throws a snap. Here comes John. Easy carve to begin. Doesn't like what he saw. The waves, Mitchell. I mean, we've passed the low tide mark. It's 142, low tide was at about one o'clock, so now we have this incoming tide. The opportunities are out there. One big thing that you mentioned earlier today, Strider, was the amount of positioning that these surfers need to have or the better positioning that they need to have, especially on the left. Here goes John, kicking the tail there. One more time, Vert. This is the flow that we were looking for from John John Florence. Wave gets a little bit weak there, but he has no problem navigating a finish. Nice stab on the back end. Now John John seems like he's starting to get a roll off. Jordy Smith, he's going to go left as well. Snap off the top. A powerful turn, and then the wave again just dissipates into the sandbank. Well, we, you know, you said we're past the, the low tide, so basically it's still pretty low tide out there. This happened while we were in that graphic. John John Florence. Front side three, looking good. I like it. Nice and smooth. One qualifier to the Olympics. Uh, if they were to double qualify, if Jordy Smith here was to double qualify and qualify through the, the WSL, then that spot would be reallocated to the ISA. And guess who would get that? Alan Cleland Jr. because yeah. he won that event. Here we go, Jordy Smith on the replay, Mitch. Yeah, a good combo on the outside, looking to improve on a 3.1 as his low score. I mean, for such a tall guy. I mean, so for such a big guy, it's amazing to me how well he serves the smaller surf, and it's so fun to watch. Yeah, Jordy's been cruising around the contest area with his dad, Graham. Also his shaper with Smith Shapes. So the father and son combo. We have a lot of father-son combinations here on the CT. Obviously, Leandro Dora and Yago as well. It's really awesome, Kipes. Here we go, John John. Eyeing the closeout, throws it up, and puts it down. 5.31 is the mark that he needs to, to make. He did certainly, Strider, and I know it's cliche, but really tried to manufacture a score on a pretty, just a decent way. <laughs> Close out, and he takes off, and he eyeballs it. He's like, okay, I'm going to wind up. Bingo! And just tosses the tail, you know, over his head and goes for the, the full rotation and, and comes out of it. Connor O'Leary got a wave, too, Mitchell. And it also seems like it was a good one. Strong snap to start off. Incredible wrap right there in the pocket. And for such a big dude, to be able to fit that board in in such a small area, really impressive. Great finish as well. This is turning into a heat, boy. Here's some replays. We're going to start with John John right here. Here we go, winding up. Big alley-oop and sticks the roof. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, we went away and we came back to some delightful news. And it actually is, it's, there's a cool feel, feature to that watch in that it vibrates when you get priority. So you don't even have to look, you can just feel the fact that you have priority. Here we go. Oh, Jory Smith on the comeback. <laughs> Has, whoa, with a dangerous landing there, Strider. You know, I, I, this is the kind of heat that I, I love because you, you, you can tell that the, the flame got turned up. Is Toledo, and he's won the last three times. Go out there and say that you can, you've won in Brazil before. That's what we want to see. Because one point is, is, is talking all the talk, can you, can you back it up though, mm. is another thing. Remember, you got to lock in your team though before the start of every competition. Jordy Smith, speaking of John John Florence Strider, um, is he going to make the final five? I believe so. I think he's going to be right there. I think he's going to have a really strong finish here. I think he's going to uh, ex ex excel into J-Bay and at, at in Tahiti could have a win. We won't get into that elimination round today. We will be getting into the women's elimination round following this opening round of men's surfing. Well, a great performance by the two-time world champ, Jordy Smith with some good stuff. But this guy, Kaipo, deserves all the praise right now. A solid, solid performance based off of how the conditions were. John John Florence is here to stay.